I'm so glad you're back for this week's lesson. Do you remember how many books are in the Bible? Shout it out. That's right. There are 66 books in the Bible. Do you remember what the Bible is? It's one big story about God's love for us and his plan from the very beginning to rescue us. Remember, the New Testament shows us how God's plan to rescue us in the Old Testament comes true with Jesus coming to earth to be our rescuer. Here is a map of Paul's missionary journeys. That was a lot of traveling back in those days because they didn't have planes or cars or trains. How do you travel? Do you travel by train? Do you travel by a car? Do you travel by a plane? Back in those days, they had to walk everywhere, or they had to take a boat when they needed to cross over water. Paul went everywhere telling the people that Jesus was their rescuer, and Jesus is our sacrifice. So let's look at the bridge illustration. See, here we are in our sin and brokenness. And God's over here. He's perfect and holy. How can we be connected to God when he's perfect and we're not? Well, luckily, God had a plan for us. Through Jesus and what he did on the cross. You see, through Jesus being our sacrifice, he made a way to connect us with God forever. And we know this is true because it's in the Bible, and everything in the Bible is true. Sometimes Paul could not travel to see and talk with people, so he would write letters to them. Letters like A, B, C, no, a letter like this. Have you ever received a letter in the mail? I bet you like getting letters in the mail. I sure do. A lot of the New Testament is made up of letters written from missionaries and leaders in the early church. Paul was one of those leaders. Paul wrote most of the letters found in the New Testament. He was one of the very first missionaries, and he started many of the first churches. In the book of Acts, you find the story of Paul's missionary journeys to faraway places, telling people about Jesus. Many times after he left, he started new churches. So the letters were the only way he could teach people in those places about God. Paul did not have a phone or computers to communicate with. He used letters to remind them about the gospel and that Jesus is our sacrifice. Let's say the letters from Paul together. Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, and 2 Thessalonians. Why did Paul write all these letters? That's right, to remind people that Jesus is our sacrifice. How about we pray? Put our prayer hands together. Here we go. Dear Lord God, thank you so much for the Bible so we can learn about the first missionaries in the first church. Thank you for telling us about Paul and how he spreads his love to others through letters and traveling. Help us, dear God, help us to travel and spread the word to our neighbors next door and around the world. I ask this in your son Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So how about we all stand up and let's say John 3.16 together. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever should believe in him would not perish but have eternal life. Parents, you and your family can use the link to sing the books of the Bible song. See how many in your family can memorize all 66 books of the Bible.